Okay, this video is what I think about eternity. <sighs> Hopefully I'll do okay. I haven't talked for so long. Um, eternity, I think, is the big buzzword of the new age philosophy of the new age eternity. It's uh, people's minds getting expanded, expansing people's minds, uh, not having limited minds. Um, back in, you know, simple-minded people like fundamentalist Christians think that the world was uh, created 6,000 years ago and you live one time on this planet and then you go off to he heaven for eternity, but they can't even really describe what that's like, uh, or hell for eternity. And, um, and then, which is, that's the most limited view. Um, now having limited views is problematic because, um, it makes you depressed about life. And, uh, then when you become depressed, you start not caring about life and you turn into a criminal. Uh, criminals are all atheists probably. Um, you know, and atheists, those are actually the most limited, I think. Uh, but then even into, if you even like Buddhists and in the reincarnation, um, uh, you can be limited in, in, in having like, you know, reincarnation. Like you only live five lives on this earth, you know, and this is the only earth you lived and you weren't anything before you were human or something like that. And um, I think we're starting to learn, and me too, just recently, um, of the actual vastness of the universe, uh, the eternity, the eternal size of the universe. Um, with the whole like eternal parallel universes and going from this, maybe even more driving from one universe to the other, uh, infinite possibilities, um, and maybe even nonlinear uh, living, which I haven't completely thought about. Um, you know, where you can die here and then you can be like, you know what, I want to live in Roman times for a life. So you go down and live in Roman times for a life. Um, but anyways, um, if you think about uh, infinite parallel universes, infinity, then it's um, it's actually heartening because it makes you believe that anything is possible. Um, now, one way I like to, um, and I think, I think anybody can think about eternity. I think it comes naturally to us. I think we're actually taught to have the limited mindset just because that's how we were th thinking for thousands of years. And, uh, but I mean, I, it's, 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 it's not above us. I remember I was thinking about eternity even when I was a little kid. Uh, I moved to Boulder from Austin when I was six. And I remember when I was in, in Texas driving from like Austin to, to Tyler, like when I was a little kid in my mom's car, you know, my mom would tell me about eternity. And I remember like, that was like my favorite thing to do. Like when I was on road trips is like, think about the internal size of the universe, like go off into the, like the depths of the stars. And then you just keep going and keep going and it never ends. And it just keeps going and keeps going and literally never ends. And same thing with time and just tripping out about that. And so, you know, little kids can, think about eternity and philosophize and stuff, you know, don't put it past little kids to be able to think about that kind of stuff. And if you, and, but I mean, only recently did I really start thinking like eternity, really eternity, like eternal possibilities with uh, parallel universes and any, you know, if you have a dream of you doing something while well, you're doing it one place and you can be doing it in this place too. Um, I think one important, uh, view about eternity, uh, exercise to do thinking about eternity is, um, is, uh, looking at a, a bug and I look at all the little bugs in the world and, you know, mosquitoes and even, even algae and all this stuff, you know, they're all little individual people, um, living in the world and they're all going to evolve. Uh, if you, if you understand, uh, the concept of evolution, um, you know, societies evolve, animals evolve, well, spirits evolve, so then the bug's going to evolve. It's going to reincarnate into a um, fish and reincarnate into a monkey and into a human and into a god and everything. So, but then what happens when you reincarnate into a god? Well, you become a god and then you get to start your own universe. So basically, look at a tiny little bug. That little bug one day is going to become a god and start his own universe in which, in which there's going to be lots of little bugs living in that. And all these different, you know, spirits bifurcating out of um, out of their spirit, which basically that's another uh, another video, spirits bifurcating out of spirits. But um, that's what eternity is. I mean, that is how vast eternity is. <laughs> it's never ending. It constantly expands and grows and uh, never uh, never stops. And so. Um, uh, that's trippy to think about, but also, um, if you, if you don't want to believe that, um, just, just look at other laws, you know, like I said, the law of, of, uh, evolution, if you believe in that, then you have to believe that the bug's going to evolve, so, 
and individualization. That's another video, though. Individualization of spirit. Some people think that when you're when you're when you die, your spirit kind of explodes into a million different pieces and just evaporates into the cosmos, kind of like dropping a drop of water into uh, the ocean and then it just splits up and becomes part of the ocean. I think atheists and uh, atheists and uh, Buddhists believe that. Um, and I don't believe that. I believe that uh, everything is connected and comes out of everything else. And but there's always that unit of you. There's all, you're always going to be you. And uh, that's what I prefer to believe. Um, it makes me feel better about myself and about my. You know, it makes me want to believe in evolution. Um, but that anyway, that's another video. So uh, eternity. Um, I think uh, there's no limit. There shouldn't be a limit. Um, whoever's the limit, whoever has the most limits is the person who's the most closed-minded and who's the most retarded in the, um, evolution of our, of our philosophy as a, uh, civilization. Um, because I think it really is limitless. Um, if all you have to do is study, um, uh, um parallel universes, um, and that's actually one interesting thing that's happening right now, I think, is lots of different parallel universes. But I think that is another video, so eternity. I think that's the big buzzword. Anything's possible. Uh, time will never end. Time never started. There's no limit to the universe, no limit to possibilities. Anything you think of exists, and that little bug's going to be a god one day. Mm-hmm. It starts his own universe. <laughs> yeah.